wore my your high heels. My roof shoes. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I bought those thongs. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Today I am starting out with kind of uh, measuring out the floor plan again because we have decided on the bed. So I think I showed this briefly before. We are using a Ikea bed that my stepmom had already. Got it for 20 bucks at a garage sale. Woo, score. So I'll be using the side rails, the brackets, and then the um, middle slats to create the full size bed. So now that we have all that, I can actually measure it out to where the bed is gonna be. And that will help measure out roughly the rest of the item. So super stoked. It was awesome to get the bed in there, um, a prototype of it. It was cool, very cool. Uh, makes it feel super real. So I woke up super early today, like four o'clock, because I was so amped. Amped, I'm just amped. <laughs> just amped up. Uh, settle down, Beal. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of Sharpie-ing. And maybe, maybe if I have time, start putting up the two by sixes and the slanted parts of the ceiling. So I'll need to drill some holes, put some plus nuts in there, and then stick those up there. So I think I'll probably make it there. We shall see. All right, adios. Woohoo! All right, so we're working on the bed frame. We've got up the sides, and luckily enough, my dad and Kathy had an old Ikea bed. So, we are gonna retrofit it in to the van. Oh. So, we have to cut off, what is it dad, three quarters? Three quarters of an inch each side. Each okay. side, to fit in the back, because there's a little bit of a slope. So, yes, we're gonna <laughs> cut some more. <laughs> mm. That's why I think we might need to take it off, Dad. Now that the bed rails have been cut, we moved on to the ceiling beams, which were actually pretty easy to install. Yay, the last cross rib. Yay. Yay. For the ceiling beams, I used half inch plywood ripped to the width and length of the existing ProMaster roof beams. Then to attach the beams, we used the existing holes in the ProMaster by installing 1032 plus nuts and then we'd line them up using that Play-Doh method that we used for the bed beams. I should have worn my... Your high heels? My roof shoes, yeah. <laughs> That's why I bought those thongs. Those flip flops, because they're tall. <laughs> they're my roof shoes. It really helps to have that extra inch and a half. <laughs> Yay! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. 
We got the cross beams in. Ew. Awesome. Now that those cross beams are in, it's time to prep for those two by sixes, the slanted ones that go on the sides there, uh, by installing some plus nuts. But it looks like I'm having some trouble. Hmm, wonder what's going on. I think my drill is too dull. See if I have another one. <laughs> hmm. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh. I'm already having a day. I just fell up the stairs. Oh. Tweaked my bad shoulder trying to save the digital camera. Oh. Oh. I hope the whole day is not like this. All right. Well, I was coming to do an update. <laughs> uh, yesterday I was able to finish the plus nuts. So I got those all installed around the upper edges, but no boards. So hopefully today, Dad and I can knock out a bunch of that. Uh, yeah, going slower than anticipated, but I have guests over, so I've been visiting. Okay. I also got this thermometer. So I got it so I can kind of get an idea of the temperature in the van and how it reacts and um, things I can do to cool it down. I am in direct sunlight with no shade, so it's been interesting to kind of watch it change. So I'm definitely discovering covering windows is a huge deal. Um, putting an awning over the back door is a huge deal. And then yesterday I actually put a um, fan in here to kind of get some airflow since my max air fans aren't hooked up yet. And that made a good big difference as well. So yeah, that thing's pretty awesome. Oh, that's it, I'm gonna go stretch my shoulder again. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> We're getting back at it, so I'm preparing the two by sixes. I'll be cutting those to length for those inside pieces of that ProMaster in those slanted areas. To keep track of each piece, I labeled them with L, one, two, three for left side, first bay, second bay, third bay, and then same for the right side, R1, R2, R3. Again, we used the Play-Doh method to align our boards with our plus nuts. Once the impression was made on the board, we went ahead and drilled the hole and then we turned it over and did a countersink for the bolts. This method is by no means foolproof. <laughs> we could not figure out a way to make it exact. And so down the line, we ended up using a different method besides the Play-Doh method that ended up being a lot more accurate. I'll be detailing that down the line when we use that method. As you can see here, we're trying to use a flashlight to see where the, the holes are not lining up correctly to put in the bolts. And this happened quite often. And what we would do is we would take the piece of wood out back into onto our workbench and get the drill and make the hole a little bit bigger depending on where it was off on the board. <laughs> it was a lot of back and forth.
right, we're picking up where we left off. Let's see who we got. These four boards in. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be doing the rest of the ceiling as much as we can, and that is it. sure if that last intro was working so let's try it again uh yeah so good morning i'm coming to show you what we did yesterday we're having a heat wave so the cameras do not like it and will not cooperate when it's hot so let me show you what we did before it gets too hot and they shut down here you go so we finished, oh, we did that already. We finished this upper beam here. Dun, dun, dun. And the one over there. So, oh, and I think the rest of these. Yes, the rest of these as well. So we got about half of the framing in, which is super duper exciting. It's going slower than I wanted it to go, but that is what it is. It actually takes a lot more work than I anticipated with using these plus nuts and riv nuts. Woo! So, I have to be pretty exact and there's a lot more steps. So if I were to do it again, I'm unsure yet, but I might just use the pre-tappers. Might be, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> so today's plan, we're having a heat wave, so, it's hard to work later because it gets so freaking hot. Um, so today I'm going to try and finish the insulation and do this area because we need the headliner in order to put up the top beam here for the ceiling. So, and I also have some cameras to install, which are gonna require some holes. Uh, so I'm gonna need to put those in first before putting this headliner back up. So that is the plan. Um, taking a pause on the framing. It's easier with two hands or four hands, I should say. It's easier with four hands. So unless I get done with my other things, uh, I'll start cutting wood for framing. But then that, I think it's gonna take me, take me most of the day to do that or at least most of the cooler part of the day. <laughs> oh, weather, I love you. All right. 